Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to do an animated speech bubble. So this is the project you'll have at the end of this. It'll be up on GitHub. You can see it makes a speech bubble and it'll all shrink and then it deletes itself. Press spacebar. Hello, welcome to this tutorial and it'll shrink. You can control the speed it shrinks or grows at. The downside would be that if you want to use multiple lines, the shrink doesn't work. So what I would suggest is that you would create it like this and then instead you just fade it out rather than shrink it. So let's get into it. I want you to make a new project, uh, put a no 2D in, make it main. We're going to go and then make a new scene, another no 2D, call it speech. Oops. Um, add a new child, vbox container. I want this to be both directions grow up. I also want this to be very, very well. I also want it to be full rect, like that. Size flags, that's the thing. Then I want to add a label. And I want to add a grow direction, this one as well. Both. And then what I want to do is um, also make sure, because it's white at the moment, we want it to be black. Some colors and font color. Then I want to right click on this label and nine patch. Right. The reason I'm not putting the label in the nine patch is that if it's really hard, it's um, how Godot does its controls is that if you want to get the, the size of something, it's actually you get the size of the parent, not the child. So if I put the, the uh, text in the nine patch rect and the text grows, but the nine patch wouldn't. So with the nine patch, I want to you drag the speech bubble over like this. And I want to put it here, and I also want to make sure grow directions of both. Also for the label, make sure that we are aligned to center. Center. Let's make sure that this is going to work. Um, in fact, we also need to make sure that. The, the full rects on. Drag this out like this. Oops. Let's just make it a bit bigger. Put it about here. Let's just make sure this is working. This is. Oh, and as you can see, it's behind. So what you need to do is select your nine patch rect, go to your visibility, and click show behind parent. There you go. This. Is a test. Now, when you delete it, you'll go, oh wow, why is it doing that? And then you don't really want to mess around with this. You want to go to your VBox container, layout, full rect, like this, and it puts it back to normal. So now we're going to do the actual code. So, what we want you to do, actually, let's save this, save it as speech, and then let's go to the speech, right click it, add a script, speech. I'm going to move this out of the way, I'm going to remove this. And then we're going to do some variables. I'm not going to show, tell you what the variables mean on the fly. I'll just sh I'll show you them as we use the variables. So I want to say var bubble text because this is just a test. This is just a default text. We can remove that var bubble text length. I need to know the length of the actual text because we're counting each character. Bar bubble text index. So where which character we're currently on? Bar current text. Um, on array bar label text equals get label. On array var nine equals get nine. Um, um right. So what's going on here then? Oh, it's fine. I'm ready. Bar time equals. Oh, we've got a timer in. No timer. So I forgot to do that. So go go to your speech. Right click it. Add a child node. Timer. Make sure this is on one shot. Let's go back to the script. Okay, um, do you close. Var do close because false. So the so we want to get the labels so we can interact with it. We're gonna get the nine reps because we want to resize it. 
we want to get the timer because that's going to do the animation so it's going to count through the index so it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. Um, do close so if it's false then obviously we're opening the speech bubble if it's true we're shrinking it. So what I want to do is on ready we want to say bubble text length equals bubble text dot length. And then we want to actually start the animation. We'll start it in one second of showing the bubble. So now to do the animation, we want to um, go through each index of, of this. So to do that, we're going to have to go back to our 2D, go to the timer, go to your node, go to your timeout, double click it, double click it, speech, connect. And here we go. So we're going to do the open of the bullet. Uh, bubble first, so it's if when not doing close, we're going to say current text e plus equals. So current text is nothing at the moment, but we're going to add a character by character. Bubble text, bubble text, index. Label text, not text. We want to update our label to show what our current text looks like. If text in index is smaller than bubble text length minus one. We're saying, hey, have we got like how far 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 are we? Are we not, we're not at the end of the, at the uh, of the text and keep on adding on the characters. So make sure where I am. Timer dot start. And this will control like how fast the characters are displayed. So if you did that, it'd be one second per character. That would be half a second per character, but I'm going to do it like this. And we want to also say text index plus equals one, because we want to update it. Else we are at the end of the animation. We want to then say, if we are do close, which we know we are going to be, then we're going to switch it to close equals true, so we're now closing the animation. And we'll do that after one second, so we can actually see the text just for one, the text for one second, and then it'll uh, cl close down. So let's make sure that is actually working. So let's go to the 2D, let's go to the main, let's drag it. So what should happen is, is the it will create the texture and then nothing will happen. It'll just stay like this forever. So what we want to do, actually that looks a little bit weird. I'll have to go over that. So I want you to go back to your speech. And the whole point of using the nine rect is that if if I show you again, can you see the corner pieces? See how they're being stretched. I don't want that. And that's the whole point of using the nine patch rect. So I want you to click the texture region down here. And as you can see, anything that's in these corners won't be stretched. So let's go like this. In fact, maybe you want to shrink this down as well. Now that that's a bit bigger. And let's just see what this looks like now. There you go, you can see that they keep the same size. That's what I want, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the project project settings. I should probably have done this at the beginning of this tutorial, I just forgot. Um, we're going to go to the window, and then I'm just going to put in 640 by 480, just so we can see the text, uh, text better. 480, right down to the bottom, to the expand. Close. There we go. So now we're going to handle the actual closing of the text. So we're going to go back to the script. I want to drag this back down. And I want to go to here and we're going to say else. So we so up here it's saying, hey, are we closing? Then sorry, are we not closing and open? Else we must be closing. So if bubble text 
length is greater than zero, it means we've got characters to close still. Current text dot erase. We want to erase the last our last character. Erase. Okay, then the end. And this one one. So that'll all that'll get whatever the string is, get the very last character, remove it, and that's that'll update the, the text. So we also want to say label text dot text. We're gonna update the label. Text. Now I want to say full text range minus equals one, so we know how big this texture is, so it'll constantly work. Nine. In fact, I'm going to leave that nine right just for now, because I'll show you why we're using it. Time dot start. So just like when we open animation, this is closing animation. I'm going to do zero point four. So it's the same speed as we open up. Else, and the whole point of this is we're saying, hey, have we got characters to remove? Then remove them. Else, we haven't got characters to remove, so I want to remove the actual speech bubble. Q Fury. So what's going to happen here is that the text will shrink, but the speech bubble won't. Um, I don't know how. To do that, I'll show you what why this is. So I I can grow this by uh, the, the the label, but when the label sh uh, shrinks, the nine patch doesn't. There must be a way of doing it. I've looked everywhere. I don't know how to. If you do know how, let me know in the comments. Um, if I learn, I'll do a tutorial on it. But let's go back to it. So I want to sort out. I want to make the uh, the border shrink. So nine reps, which we Rect size equals size equals vector six six point zero and nine rep dot rect position plus equals vector two and three zero. So whatever this number is, we want to half it. Um, it looks like magic numbers. There is mad. There's method behind madness. But yeah, like I don't like doing it this way, but it's the only way I know how to right now. So let's make sure this works. So, and then it should shrink. Yep, and then disappear. Perfect. That's what we want. So you might be thinking, oh, that's great. Well, if there's one in the scene, then that's great and everything. But what if we want to like, do a new one where we don't want to have to like keep dragging them and putting the text in? So I'll show you how to do that. We'll go back to the main. Uh, Right click on main, attach a script, create a main. What I'm going to do just for speed's sake is I am going to just copy and paste some code. So this is going to say, hey, oh, oh yeah, and I've got to define it up here. So I'm going to say export var bubble pat c. Save that. To the TV, and what we want to do, Inspector, where it says bubble, I want you to go and load a bubble. Open. So now we can inscape that bullet uh, scene. So what's happening here is we're saying, hey, have we just pressed accept, which is your spacebar, I think return key as well. Then we're gonna get the a new variable and we're gonna instance the speech bubble. Then with speech bubble, we're gonna say what we want our text to be for that speech bubble and then we're going to define where we want it to appear which is about here and then we're going to add it to, to our, our main and then as you can see wait for this to can finish if I press spacebar and it closes so yeah that's um, how to do the speech bubble I'll show you the, the, the issue I'm having, if you want to do multiple, oops, if you say if you want to do a new line, you would do this. This is a new line. I'll just do that. So this is great, it works, it looks great, 
However, when it shrinks, that's the issue. So what if you wanted to use uh, this, I guess we could put in a check here. Uh, in fact, let's do it. Let's say var can shrink equals false by equals true by default. And we'll say if you can shrink, then do the shrink. And then what I'll do is save that. I'll go to the main and then here I'll just say new bubble dot can can shrink equals false. So you'll see this will shrink, and then hopefully this shouldn't shrink. However, it also won't remove. Oh, it will do. Um, yeah, so that's in the tutorial. That looked really ugly having a very long uh, bar, but what I would, I would probably do is rather than shrinking the text, I would just fade it out using the alpha channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next one. As always, if you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Um, yeah, take care. Bye bye.